Yeah. Those are cool. Absolute V for Vendetta. This is a spot where we typically get a lot of the graphic novels. We haven't been in a while, but this is the Absolute V for Vendetta. It's $20, but I love that it has the sleeve on it. There are two of these listed brand new. None available pre-owned, so I think I'm going to stick a price tag of like 75 bucks on this, and it should move pretty quick. All the new ones were going for like 120 So good profit there. How's it going today? Doing well. All right, well, here's Brittany and Lux. She's got a special guest. <laughs> yeah, she's passed out right there. But tell them about these Cloth Teak Santas. Yeah, Cloth Teak Santas. We picked these up for $5 a piece. They still have their tags, no boxes, but they do pretty well. We've sold the this brand, Cloth Teak, before. This one should go for like 50 bucks. I think it's a little bit more of a harder to find one. And then this one will go for maybe around twenty five, twenty five, thirty dollars. <laughs> Start falling. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're tightly oh, yeah. down in here. I was looking for my husband's some old boots he can lay on in. They have some on that aisle. I know they have a few dress shoes and boots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah on the men's aisle. Yeah, I used to go over there, but my last time I was over there, they may have put some mic right here. I got these. Seat now. Did you want them? No, they're size 12. He's in a lab and in the head possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> well, he was, he was looking for something that was kind of waterproof around the back. I don't know what he wants. Right. But he won't wear it if they look new. He's very um, frugal. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, something to it's just, he'll paste it and glue it and back, sew it back together. <laughs> he said, I'll keep it for as well, long as I, I can. If I on something, I bought on the nicest pair of uh, boots that he needed, and he's still wearing an old pair that's cold in the sole. He said, those are the comfortable ones. Well, he's going to get his money's worth. Not his yeah. money's worth. Not right, money's worth. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see any other ones down I don't there. I see any there. They might bring out some more. That's true. Yeah, I found a little something. Oh, good with you. 
couple pairs of shoes good, good. to keep me a big bag with me. Wonderful, wonderful. Easier to get around. I saw this bag, I saw actually this image hanging and I was like, that's kind of cool. I like the little patches. It's got more patches on the back, but it was like leather strap, leather bottom, and it said Disney Parks inside. It was really cool. They were asking $6.75, not bad, but we saw like listings all over the place, like $20 to $30, $40. So I was like, for $6.75, and if we took an offer of $20, I wouldn't be upset, but it looks to be pretty new, never used. A cool, really, uh, Disney Parks tote bag. I've been forgetting if the camera's been off or on. Interrupting this video to bring you an exclusive trailer for our brand new family YouTube channel. these Merrill size 12s. I had to look these up to make sure they were authentic. But I did find them. You know, got the number inside. Seem to be pretty desirable. I think they're going to bring in like $40. Don't know on the Merrills yet. You know, I'm happy if Merrills get 25, 30 bucks. But they put these Ugg boots out. For no additional cost because you know Goodwill likes to price stuff up sometimes. We should get 50 or $60 for these. They're in great shape. Yeah, so not bad, not a total big haul of shoes. I was feeling a little like the ATL Flippers, Derek and Jasmine. If you don't know their channel, great people. They're friends of ours. They're down in Atlanta. Great information on shoes. They do shoes, clothing, all kinds of stuff. But yes, Merrill's, this is the season to get those Merrells listed if you have any. These are the Merrell Yakota 2s, size 12, really good size. They're good to durable shoes. We're into that fall season, some trail hiking, stuff like that. These will do about 40 to $50. If Derek's watching this, I need to know if he's ever seen this right here, a Nike Koth Ultra. This is like the mids, I think. I was like, are they fake? There's nothing on the tongue. It's this like cool fly knit material, but look them up, check the number inside. These are a pretty rare shoe. They, they look like a, a spinoff of like the ACG boots, um, but really cool shoes. Got this pair, they're size 10 and a half. These will do probably another $50. But I was going crazy when I saw these Ugg boots right here. I mean, this was just cool. And if you've seen our TikTok or anything like that, we all have noticed that Goodwill has changed the prices. I totally expected to flip this over and see like $15 or $20 because it said Ugg boots. But this was the standard boot price. And these will also go for about $50. Last pair of shoes we got. These are actually just going to a family friend. They are the New Balance. Uh, 560 V7. I say family friend. They were friends. Now they are family. Um, part of our story with our son. They are the grandparents of uh, our little boy that you know we've been adopting. So it's been really cool. He wears this size. He's always saying, "If you find some good shoes in my size, please let me know." I sent him a picture. They're such a good blessing to us. So I was like, "Hey man," he's like, "What do I owe you?" It's like, "No, they're yours." It's I got them at Goodwill. They didn't try to charge me eighty dollars for them. So. They got these. And then my awesome wife picked up this Lily Pulitzer. This should go for like $40. And just a little tip for you guys in Goodwill. I always check out on their new racks, like what the color of the tag is mm -hmm. of the new clothes. Everything they're so putting out. Yeah. Everything they're putting out. So if I don't have time to go through every single clothing item, I'll just look for the things with the yellow tags to know that's the newest stuff. So it's likely not to have been picked over already. Lily Pulitzer leggings. This was a Lily day. These are more Lily Pulitzer leggings, which I've never found before. Um, 
but you can see right there, Lily Pulitzer. And these should go for like $50. So that's really great. I was excited when I saw those. And I'm not sure what this is. That there's the tag, I don't know. But she got this top as well. And this is a, um, it looks pretty plain, but it's Zaya Active. Um, so good active wear brown, so that little moon there. And this plain like boyfriend style hoodie will actually go for like $30. So I'm gonna be $59.84. I'm gonna have to change those quarter missions. Thanks. Anyone get all the shoes? Okay. Alright. I All right, and then my beautiful wife. You're so awesome, babe. It was like lunchtime. We didn't have any of the kids. We had just picked up our middle child from preschool because we had like a child-free morning to go to the thrift stores. I said, like, can we go stop at one more? And she goes, it's always such a good spot. They have good stuff and their prices are so good because we typically would not pick up a Vineyard Vine shirt at Goodwill. Because typically they're gonna sell for like fifteen to twenty dollars, and you don't want to pay five, fifty, six dollars for a T-shirt. But we go to this place because this shirt was two dollars. She actually gave it to us for free. She threw it in with the price. So, you know, to get a free shirt and still, you know, get fifteen dollars is why we like going to this spot. This one you picked up, and it was really cool. It looks to be an older tag Nike, but it's an extra large. So I'm guessing a kid's extra large. Maybe a women's small, but it has that small Nike check. It's got the like white on white. It's kind of like an off gray color. I We don't quietly know what a sold comp or price is. We'll throw one in the video, um, but it was just a really clean, ready to list crew neck. So really good pickup there. But this was the get ready for fall. This place, the only downside, I go in there and I'm at least in there once a week. They don't get a lot of men's stuff. Today, that was a different story. Uh, once again, shout out to Derek and Jasmine. I saw him pick up this tweed jacket and it made me start looking at him. You know, I had a little bit of time, got this nice Harris tweed, 100% pure Scottish wool. Looked it up, great sell through rate on this for this size. We paid 450. This jacket alone, um, helps pay for almost the whole day. This will go for another $50. But yes, we are getting ready for Q4. We're into the full swing of it. That fall weather, that winter weather is coming. We got this Jansen sweater, size extra large. I think we only paid $3 for this. This will get a good 25 to 30 bucks. Another Jansen here, got the V-neck sweater. Has that nice Christmas pattern, just getting ready for those family photos. I think the V-necks will go maybe a little bit cheaper. We only paid $4 for this one. I don't know why that one was three, this one's four. But we'll still get about $20 for this one. This one was one of my favorites. It's a nice, heavy sweater. It's made of the, I think it's the Ramy wool, the Rami wool. Uh, it's called Woods and Gray. Saw some pretty good listings. Uh, not the same pattern, but this company does fairly well. I'm thinking this one will still do another $25. And like I said, we didn't pay 
anything over like 450 on the whole day but can y'all feel it here just feel feel how heavy this <laughs> the sweater is it's it's a nice one yes they did really well for us last year so we are picking up the cardigans this one has a cool little print to it i did see a few listing for this like once again didn't check on poshmark but we'll check all platforms this was claybrook it was three dollars this one would be on the lower end maybe 20 bucks but the one that mrs flip said yeah you should grab that i was like that's ah, ll bean it's a cardigan she goes yeah but it's got the look we did see some best offer taken sold comps this one's a once again a great size extra large i'm thinking we'll get 25 to 30 dollars for this one so how did you feel about today it was good. We actually got some good stuff. A quick little child free for the most part, besides the last store. Just a child free. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're a blessing. We love them. Yeah, this was our first day spending the day at Grammy's house. <laughs> so, of course, we had to go out thrifting. Yeah, so we got some really good stuff. Plenty of stuff for you to list. Mm -hmm. But can we tell them what I ran and got last night? Ooh, yes. Because it's very well, it's very exciting to me. <laughs> it was uh, about to be like dinner time, uh, and yeah. <laughs> I said I was actually holding our daughter. I ran my she's still asleep, and I ran to you, and I was like, "Take, Take her! her. I, I have go. to go. This is on Facebook Marketplace." I couldn't believe it. The lady was asking twenty dollars. Okay, they want to see. I know they want to see. Mm -hmm. Show them. It was a cloth teak set. No, I'm just kidding. It's another wicker bookshelf. Check this thing out. Yes, $20. And she had it on Facebook Marketplace, and she just used, like, a video. She was like, here, I got this shelf, $20. Who wants to come get it? I was like, I am getting in my truck, lady. I am on the way. And lo and behold, this thing is in great shape. I want to do it on Facebook Marketplace, but I've also been learning just about freight shipping and selling things on eBay because on eBay, these are going like people are letting them go as cheap as $150, but I've seen them selling at $300. So for $20 into this is the third one that we've come across. We have one that we're keeping in our daughter's nursery, but then to see this one have the potential, I'm just gonna say right there in the middle, $200. But yes, a great little thrift store day with my wife, didn't have kids for most of the time, and getting that wicker shelf was just so incredible. But yes, if you'd like to go check out our new channel, I'm gonna leave a link to it right here at the end of the video. It'll also be down in the description. It's where we're gonna be showing you all of the stuff kind of behind the scenes of running our business, but our family, all the things that are happening and some big projects we have coming along as well. So if you want to take part in that, if not, this channel will still be here to always bring you the best flips, finds, and fun. We're going to be working really hard on what we go out there and find and source and sell on all these awesome platforms. So thanks for hanging out today. Be sure to give the video a like comment below subscribe and like i said check out that other channel i'll see you again real soon make the world a better place with a sale and a smile see ya